technique tip um, video for you to help you with another three exercises. Uh, here we've got burpees, lunges and prone pull and the variations of each of those which you could choose uh, dependent on your fitness level currently. So burpees first, um, nobody likes burpees apart from me. Um, they're really, really um, good fat burning exercise. They work multiple uh, muscle groups all at the same time. And here's how we go. So if you're a beginner, this might be enough for you. Abs tight, lift your arms up over your head, bum down to your heels, place your hands forward in front, draw your shoulders back, extend one leg, extend the other leg, bring the one leg back in, bum down to your heels, second leg back in, and then stand up. So you're up, down, plant, extend, extend, in, in, lift. And that might be enough if you're a complete beginner. You'll still feel it in your quads and in your chest, stability of your shoulders. Um, if you want to work a little bit harder, you could lift it up, bum down, hands down. And when you get to this point, instead of walking your legs out, throw your legs out nice and strong, bring them back in again and extend. So down, place your feet, really pull your stomach in when you do this, draw your abs in and that will prevent your back arching, keep your hips lifted, and down, and lift. So that's your level two. If you want to go even harder, do a nice big burpee, high as you can, you're going to add an explosive jump onto the, on the finishing um, technique. So we're up, up to heels, out, and in. repetitions with good form as you can. So the most important things for me for a burpee, um, depending on who trains you or which class you go to, me I'm a bit of a stickler for getting your bottom to your heels. See lots of people doing burpees like this, the head's lower than the heart, the bum's still up, not as much for your quads, but put the hands down, jump the feet out of it, jump the feet back in again. So to get the most out of it, like I've said on your previous videos, go slower and do them better. So make sure that your bottom comes to your heels twice, whichever level you're at, this is what we're looking for, and stability through your shoulders and a nice strong core. So that is your burpee. We'll move on to your lunges. We're going to do forward and backward lunges here. If you take a nice step forward for your forward lunge, Heel strikes the ground first, back heel peels away from the ground, ribs stay over your hips, that's quite important, a lot of people will flex forward, ribs stay over your hips, back knee drops down, while this knee stays over your ankle or your shoelaces, so you don't want to be far forward with this front leg, back and then lift and return, so it's heel, knee, lift and back, and you want to be in a nice straight line as you descend and come back up again, so there's no forward flexion. Same thing with your backward lunges, they're a little bit more difficult. So your back, you step back, your back heel still peels away from the ground, all the way down. So this is harder, obviously, than coming here. Again, you'll have to gauge it. All the way down, lift and forward. So back, down, lift, forward. If you wanted to take this up a little bit, you could come down and switch and switch. So you're adding a little bit of impact in between each repetition and again making sure that your form is good. Your abdominals want to brace throughout. Your abdominals should work regardless on most body weight exercises that you do. And then your third option is you foot forward, back knee down. I call these flying squats. I don't know what they are really. Arms right the way back. You lift up, catch your balance. And that should do you quite quickly in your quadriceps. Okay, so that's your lunges. Again, you need to gauge it. If you do one set and you find it's quite easy for you, take yourself up until your form begins to fail and then back down again. And the third exercise here is for your back. So it opposes the muscles that we've already worked in your chest. You're gonna come down, arms forward, hold a prone pull. Your head stays in line with your spine, again, so you're not dropping your head, and then just lift your weight up. And again, this might be enough for you once you've taken your arms away from the ground. You might need to rest a little bit. You want to feel it. Either side of your spine, 
two big muscles running down the side of your spine, and then four big ones in the bottom of your back. So this is where we want to feel it. So you're lifting up, and then if you're okay here, lift your arms, draw your shoulders back, extend your arms, and just pull. So you're squeezing your shoulder blades together, and working the muscles in between your shoulder blades and the side of your body whilst your chest is elevated. So make sure you're as high as you can be, squeezing as tight as you can. This loop's dead easy. Once you've been doing it for a few seconds, you should really feel it quite quickly in your back. The common mistake that most people make is you've got too much tension in the lower part of your, of your body. Whilst you do this, you want the lower part of your body relaxed. So there's no lifting and then squeezing your bum or lifting your legs. Everything should be relaxed. And this exercise is one of the only ones where I don't want you to contract your stomach. Because your tummy, your abdominal muscles, oppose the muscles in your back, if you relax your abdominals, you're more likely to get more flexion in your spine because the muscles work in pairs. So once one relaxes, the other one is able to contract more. So no pulling in your abdominals on your prone pull. So there you've got your burpees, your lunges, and your prone pull. And remember these are just quick technique tips. If you need any more help, or if you need another alternative, please get in contact with me and I shall sort you out. Okay, thank you.